Hi, this is Andre Maximov, the CEO and co-founder of Precious Payload. Precious Payload is a browser-based software tool that helps you plan and execute a space mission without leaving the comfort of your desk. And today I wanted to talk about the go-to-market strategy if your company is planning to build the services or solutions for the upstream segment of the space industry. If you look at the space investment reports by Space Angels, which is a free quarterly digest of where the VC money go, you quickly, quickly understand that the, the launch sector is disproportionately popular among all the investors. And it seems that all the, all the attention of the VC money is, is tied to the launch sector. At least had, that has been the case for the last couple of years. The amount of launch companies around the world, the private ones that are going after the same sector of small satellites, is more than 150 globally. And there are at least, I would say, seven or eight companies that's got more than $100 million of financing of the VC money to basically mature their technology and go after building a small rocket that would take the satellites to space. And I personally think that this is a great opportunity for anyone to start working on the space industry because when you start talking to different companies within the supply chain of small satellite customers, or the emerging early adopters of satellite technology, you quickly understand that these companies usually don't have the intense, frequent problem that they are willing to pay for solution for, for solving the problem. And it's gonna be hard for you to get the enough traction with the end customers, with these early adopters, simply because um, their processes are not established. And at most, you know, if you're providing them a hardware solution or the, the service, they would use you once per mission. And the mission, the satellite mission, is usually at least an 18 months project, but it also could be like multiple years. So if you close one sale, at most you'll get one sale of your service or hardware. But if you turn to the launch companies, particularly the ones that are based in the United States and particularly the ones that are based in the, in the California Long Beach, we clearly understand that they have this, again, this proportional amount of PC money and they have these hundreds of millions of dollars to spend and large portion of that is dedicated towards showing the early traction with the market to get to the another round of financing. And that's where you quickly understand that these companies, they have more or less established business processes and they're willing to pay for the early traction in the market. So my advice would be go after these companies, look what they're up to, and then try to develop a solution or the service that would help them in these early stages of rolling out their launch service to the market. Thanks for watching. I hope I will develop this theme further in the, in the, in the, in the subsequent videos because this is our strategy and this is something that we're exploring right now. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel. I'm doing the weekly updates of our startup journey in this video blog.